Hi guys, so this is one video every poultry farmer wants to watch. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the truth about the old chicks survivor. How to ensure that they survive and then give you the highest return on investment. Whether you're a broiler farmer or a layer farmer, and that reminds me, in case you're a layer farmer, you've been struggling with your layer farm, whether you're raising your layers from chick stage to the point where they start to lay or from point of lay, point of cage into production, I have a free webinar for you to watch and I'll be leaving the link in the description below so go right there and watch the free webinar all right back to what we want to discuss today the truth about day old chicks survival the first thing you want to consider of course is the source of your day old chicks i know that day old chicks are pretty expensive now and losing one two three ten twenty is a lot of money is a lot of loss so you don't want that to happen the number one thing is to make sure that you get your chicks from the right source and trust me there are reputable arteries here in nigeria that you can patronize some of them you get to patronize them directly and some through vendors so in case you're a poultry farmer and you have been struggling with the source of the old chicks you don't have a reliable source yet don't worry we can take care of that for you we are happy to tell you that we supply the old chicks from major arteries across nigeria and we can deliver to you anywhere you are in nigeria in case you're interested in that, I'll be leaving a WhatsApp number you can reach out to for that purpose. But that's by the way. So if you succeed in getting quality day old chicks, that means you have brought in something that is that has the potential to survive on your farm. You remember what they say, garbage in, garbage out. It is the potential that they bring to your farm that you are going to maximize on your farm. So don't forget, if you need quality day old chicks, we can be your plug for that. So and after a poultry farmer has managed to get quality the old chicks, how the chicks travel from the hatchery to your farm also matters a lot. If the chicks are exposed to too much stress during transportation and sometimes you are not aware of it, you just bring them to your farm, you set them and you start to give them feed and water, they may not perform well. Too much stress can undermine their potential, it can undermine their immunity and when they get to your farm they're just not at their best so it is important that farmers pay attention to how the birds are delivered to them in some cases you are able to control this in other cases you may not be able to control it but what you can always control is the next point be ready that is be ready to receive these birds for god's sake uh, for the past couple of months i've worked with some farms and i can tell you that they've received their old chicks when they were not ready for the birds. Yeah, when an expectant mother is expecting a baby, you know, they get to get the, uh, the baby crib, all of those supplies for the babies, you get it before the baby comes. But it happens that a lot of farmers, maybe because the day old chicks are so beautiful at sight, they just want them to come and then they start to run up and down, which is not the right thing to do. Make sure that you are ready. You have the feed, the good feed that they need to take. You have the water taken care of. You have the litter everything fumigation you need to be sure that you are ready to receive the birds before you even place order for them why if they come on your farm and you start to run up and down you may not be able to give them the best quality care that they need imagine a situation where you thought you have the gas brother and you know some people even place order they'll place order for their old chicks and at the same time place order for gas brother and a lot of other things that they'll be using with the birds what if your gas brother comes, the day old cheese come, and you start the gas brother, you want to light it up, and it doesn't come up? What do you do? It means you are not ready. You must have all your supplies on ground. Make sure that you have tested your supplies. Some people also get the gas brother, they just put it somewhere and wait until the day the birds arrive before they test it. Who does that? So make sure that you have tested the equipment you're going to be using. You have everything in working condition before you expect your birds to come once they arrive we assume that the house is ready and in most cases it is not in case you're new to the channel this is diy agri your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner a while ago i made a video and i mentioned that i was going to be doing videos that would help a lot of poultry farmers who are raising broilers or even layers in this season so in case you're here to subscribe to the channel you want to hit that subscribe button so that you get more of my videos all right, let's move on to the next point. And this next point is very important. I want you to pay attention to it. A lot of people are confused as to what exactly to do when the birds 
when the birds arrive. Some will say give antibiotics, some will say give anti-stress, some will say give coconut water, give this and that, you know. In this video, I'm going to be telling you the methods that have worked for me for years. And if you stick to them, I'm pretty sure that you're going to have excellent results on your farm as well. So once your birds arrive and probably you get to the driver, you collect them, one thing you want to be sure of or you want to check is have they been stressed? If the birds have been stressed, then you want to make sure that you provide extra care for them once they get to your farm. So like I've talked about being ready, you have to make sure that the house is ready. You have started to warm up the house so that when they come, they are not introduced to a shock, you know. A significant difference in the temperature in the carton and the one in the brooder house would shock the birds. So you want to make sure that you have started warming the house before they arrive. And the required temperature at that stage at the chicks level should be around 33 to 35 degrees maximum. So you want to make sure that you have started to pre-warm the house before they arrive. And once you bring them in, you set to them, you make sure that the water is already placed. And as you are setting them down from the carton, you make sure that you are dipping the mouth of especially those that are weak you dip their mouth their beak inside the water and place them by the time you dip the beak of a few of them the others will copy and they know that this is water and they start to drink the hellier they start to drink the better if you just place them randomly and then you come back to say let's start to monitor the ones that are not drinking it may not be the best so the hellier the better if they are so stressed, you may not even allow them to heat for the first 30 minutes. But if they are not so stressed, you can just dip their beak inside the water and also have the feed ready in the house. They can start to drink and heat at the same time. But again, if they are so stressed, make sure you are putting their beak inside the water first. And you may not even add feed until after about 30 minutes. And what should be inside the water? What should be the content of their drinker? In many cases, you would want to give them maybe glucose to give them quick energy or you give them good multivitamins that have electrolytes inside. That will help them to really adjust to the new setting. Yeah, a lot of people are fond of giving antibiotics immediately the birds arrive and this is not good. You shouldn't practice this at all. Make sure that the birds settle for that first day that they arrive. Don't give them anything called antibiotics. If at all you want to introduce antibiotics, it should be the second day. After you have made sure that the stress of transportation have been removed from their body completely, they need to settle in, drink water, relax. And it's okay for them to even sleep after a while. You know, after drinking water and eating some feed, it's okay for them to sleep. You know, you see some of them lying down it's okay. Just make sure that they are evenly spread in the house to show you or inform you that the temperature inside the brother house is right. Once you see that everything is right in terms of the temperature, the feed placement, the water placement, and you see some of them sleeping, it's okay. They might be stressed and they just want to relax. You forcing them to get up and heat and drink might not be good. And that's why it's important that after placement, immediately after placement, you ensure that a lot of them have a taste of the water and whatever is inside the water that you're giving them. After that, you can allow them to rest and then you see that momentarily they will be getting back up to drink, eat and relax. So I'm going to be adding a few extra tips. But before that, if you have done all the things that I've mentioned, that means you've taken care of the first couple of hours after they arrive and you are pretty much sure of having chicks that would survive so the extra tips now because you don't just need birds that will survive you also need birds that would give you the highest return on investment so as they come in you want to make sure that you take stock if you have brought in 2000 birds you want to make sure that you count them from the cartons to the floor you do that quickly so you might need extra hands than you would normally need in that chicken house and also you will need to take their day old weight so with the weight on arrival you need to take it that means you need a digital scale a lot of farmers even broiler farmers they don't have a digital scale so when the chicks just come in they assume okay these chicks are small they are big i tell you that chicks that look small but they have weight they have weights of about 46 grams and you don't know it they look like they are 32 grams so it's important that you have it on your farm digital scale you also need a thermometer to monitor the temperature in the brooder house you don't want to report to somebody and say i don't know what's wrong with my cheeks no they are not fine and they ask you what's the temperature inside the house and you're like eh, it's hot 
or it's not too hot uh this you need something to be able to tell you this is the exact temperature in this brooder house so for that reason you need your digital thermometer and lastly don't take the issue of power security lightly you know you need to make sure that everywhere is clean and don't bring in strangers into your farm when i say you need more ants on the first day in order to place the chicks you must make sure that everyone coming inside the chicken house they are coming in clean it must not be people who have worked with older flocks you want to make sure that they have well disinfected their legs their hands are sanitized and all that if you're able to maintain strict biosecurity i tell you there's a lot of benefits to that you will not be using so much medications and you'll not be recording deaths among your flock so that's it in case you're here to subscribe to the channel make sure you click the subscribe button if you think you like the content give us a thumbs up and click on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our future uploads don't forget to check the link to the free layer webinar in the description below and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye